Oh yeah, arrival three minutes. So we have ordered our Uber. We are off to the airport, and Scott and I are going to Let's Ready. Get some winter sun. It is freezing here, like absolutely. Baltic. I'll explain what is going on when we get there as usual because in the morning it's never a good time. It never is. Uh, so, montage. Top side pads, chargers, yeah. and your suitcases. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for waiting. We might invite all remaining customers on Jet2.com flight at 1299 and receive the plan to rocket to come forward to gate 50. That's all remaining customers. Please have your passport open, ready for inspection on your boarding card. On the gap to board the aircraft, and thank you for travelling with Jet2.com. Have a lovely holiday. Filling out the last bits of paperwork and picking up your car hire keys was so quick and simple and you can literally get it all done whilst you're waiting for your bags to even come out onto the carousel which is directly behind you and then you are literally on your way. Here we go, 299. Oh, let's find a gap. I was right, Silver. Hey girl. <gasps> Look at her. She's so cute. Yes! Get in, Jeff. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> right, let's find our hotel on Google Maps. There you go. Let's go, baby! Let's go! What side are we driving on? <laughs> <laughs> then quickly discovered that the hotel was literally only six minutes away from the airport, which made it oh, oh so convenient to get there. This In weather. 600 meters, take the exit towards Matagorda. Shall do, love. Shall do. It's so like volcanic and barren, but like really crazy. Oh, that's bizarre, I didn't expect that. Oh, look at this foyer. Oh, we're here before the bus. Oh, wow. It's so nice. Hi, checking in, please. I'm good. Everything all right? Yes, very good. On birthday is not necessary. And thank okay. Don't forget to sign me here at the bottom. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. I know, it's so beautiful. You never go any Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, cheers. <laughs> if you need anything, you can always come with us. He's making fire. Do do do. So they've left us some bubbly. Okay, I need to explain what is going on. So basically, I got an email from Jet2. Remember, I went away with um, Jet2 to Croatia earlier in the year. And they were like, Ali, we want to send you and Scott to Lanzarote with a car hire. How do you feel about that? I was like, hello? I was like, I feel terrible about that. That doesn't sound very good at all. But you know, I like you, Jet2. Hi, We're nice. gonna go. How are you? Hello. Congratulations. How are you? Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. So yeah, this video is sponsored by Jet2. Full transparency, and um, they're pretty much letting us go rogue in Lanzarote for a week. We're at this beautiful, all-inclusive resort, which we're going to check out. And um, they've given us a car, and they were like, "Ali, we want you to go and explore the island. Use the car. Go and have some adventures. Do what you want." <laughs> okay. Well, you know what we're gonna do <laughs> right now. <laughs> the room is really nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then the view we get, the view the we get. Out, the shorts are coming out. Hey girl. It's December by the way, and it's such a beautiful heat. Oh, see view. Yes, please. This is right outside our hotel. Well, ain't that lovely? So this seems to be the recreational area. We've got tennis courts, basketball courts. How good does this look? It's amazing. Giant chess. Okay, yeah. So we just had pretty much a couple of drinks and just been wandering around the hotel and stuff, and it is so nice. It is. Oh. Oh girl, that light though. Uh, it's been so nice. So um, we're gonna go get changed and come down and have a couple more beers and have dinner. But um, we'll probably see you tomorrow now and we'll kick things off tomorrow properly.
You all right, Chess? You find a little Instagram spot? Oh, you find a cat. Hey, little baby. Oh, hello and good morning. Um, it's a little bit rainy. It started off really sunny, but it just feels like that, you know, that fan rain that soaks you through. It's one of those. <laughs> um, so we're just going to do some random aimless exploring. The only thing we know is we're going north from here. We're going to be getting the map out later, like old times. But yeah, let's go and explore. What's the first stop? Arasifi? Arasifi. Arasifi. Probably butchering that. Um, but yeah, let's go. Come back out. Oh yeah, we see a castle. We I spy one, if you will. Okay, so we went round a little bit along the coast, but there was like nowhere to park. So we've just come back to this big car park here. The rain came back, and now it's gone again. We're not sure what it's doing with its life. So kind of like us. <laughs> Unfortunately, all the signs were in Spanish, so we've kind of left not knowing much. I shall Google it while we enjoy a view. Isn't that lovely? It's free to come in, by the way. If you speak Spanish, then you'll learn a lot. <laughs> the boats are so tiny. Oh, so cute. We can hear the church. We just can't see the church. Wow, how beautiful is this? Loving a little bit of streets out here. Yes. All right, so we just made it to Jardin du Cactus. Cactus garden, um, and yeah, it looks really cool. There's a windmill, there's lots of cacti everywhere. What's there not to love? Just don't touch them, Chez. Okay? Mm -hmm. He always gets a boo boo. Gracias. We were recording, and then I turned it off. <laughs> uh, five euros 80 to get into the cactus garden. 580? Yeah, it looks like they took cards. That's where you got the eight from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah My yeah. Spanish is. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Special. This looks so cool. Oh my god. So there's our girl, the weather has changed really rapidly now and it's just getting very cloudy and rainy. So we're gonna head back for the day, jump in our boobs, and I'll see you at the map. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, were we grateful that we had a car at this moment because the weather just took a very vicious turn for the worse. So at least we weren't stranded out and about in that. Day one took us from our hotel around here all the way into Arasaif. I think I'm still butchering that. Arasifi. Arasifi! <laughs> yeah, we kind of like just went along the coast as far as we could, but then we... Sorry about the shadow. <laughs> yeah, then we went back in. Yeah, we had to go back in, and then we headed towards the Cactus Garden. After that, we carried on up the coast to Llamos del, del Agua. And then the rain started to come. Then the rain started, so, so we that was it. All the way home. 
on. Good morning everyone, so it's day two. We are going to go out and wander on foot. The weather is exactly the same, it's all over the place, doesn't know what it's doing with its life. So we are near Puerto del Carmen, um, so we're just gonna walk along the coast down there um, and yeah, do the robot as we go. Let's go explore the local area. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so we have walked from the hotel, which is right over here. We've walked around come to a nice little place and we have the world's hardest game of crazy golf here. Sand pits absolutely everywhere. <coughs> Very difficult. You can see the weather, the sun on the beach is looking fabulous. We are in Puerto del Carmen now and oh my god look at that black cloud. Girl she got the forest. We just come off the main strip a little bit near the port. Cute little bar. No one here. Fabulous. Gonna rest the aching legs. Have a nice little beer in the sun. Look at these stools. I like it, very nice. So we've just come to this amazing bar called Grill La Ole. <laughs> mm, my goodness. How nice is it inside? Crazy nice. Actually, I'll take them in and show them. <laughs> So after much searching we finally found two that have fully charged batteries. So you gotta get the app, the wind app. Scan to ride. Scan it. Bye bye. Oh, that was exhilarating, cheers. I feel alive. Cheers. So we've had a fab day in Puerto del Carmen. Um, you know the name? You don't? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it's really good and those electric scooters are amazing. Um, so now we are back, we've had a sangria, we've had lunch and we are good. oh yes, lunch darling, lunch for me. We are going to jump in the pool because the pools look amazing. We haven't been in them yet and it is still warm. Yeah, a lot of that. We're gonna do a lot of that. Turtle swimming. Turtle swimming. Here we go. One more thing I will say, the Puerto del Carmen is very um, catered to the Western tourist. Uh, there's a lot of one euro beers, two euro beers, two euro ten full English breakfasts, that kind of vibe compared to Arecife, which I know I'm still butchering the name of that, um, yesterday. Um, but yeah, it's still cool and the beaches looked gorgeous. And it was dark. Am I? Yas, queen. The pool was absolutely fabulous, so we have come. And did you know there is a museum in this hotel? Yeah, here you go. Gorgeous hotel, gorgeous hotel. Museum. As usual, I'm winning. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so on day two we decided to do a little bit of exploring to Puerto del Carmen which is just down the road from us. We did this on foot, just fancied a little bit of an explore and yeah just had a really chill day wandering around and made our way down the coast. Good morning. Good morning. Right it is day three and we are off in the car again. Car day! We're gonna head to a market this morning down the southern part of the island. Just going to stop you there for a second, Ali, as I forgot to mention something. This hotel made for such a fantastic base to explore the island from in the car because it was so central that you didn't feel like you were backtracking on yourself. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, carry on, Ali, with your adventures. Um, so we'll go see what that's like. Hopefully it's not just full of like just fridge magnets and T-shirts and inflatables and has some nice little handicraft stuff. But we will go and find out. And then we're heading to the National Park, which I'm so excited for. Hey, girl, how you doing? Good morning. Still here. She's yeah. Well, thank God. <laughs> Thank you. 
seems that every day we've come out in the car, it's just like views for days everywhere, all over the island. Like it's just constant stunning landscape wherever you drive and whatever you do. So if you plan on hiring a car in Lanzarote, I asked the lady when we hired the car, I was like, what, what are the roads like? She said, the roads are good. The roads are amazing. Like, the tarmac is pristine. Like, I haven't even seen one pothole yet. Like, it's been that good. Mind you, we haven't really been off the beaten track. So, obviously, there's going to be places where, you know, it's a bit gravelly maybe. But the main roads are really, really, really good. And it's really easy to drive here. And already we've made a friend. <laughs> Hello, baby. If you do get a car, then this is where we've parked um, at the Rubicon and it's free, which is always a good thing. Gratis. On our way to the National Park, we are starting with one of the viewpoints. Let me just show you right there and then we'll kind of like loop around in the national park and just figure it out from there look at the landscape how rough it is and i can only imagine how sharp these like volcanic rocks are like this island is just crazy i know i've said it like a thousand times but it's really wild quick pit stop little viewpoint you found that's literally the best thing about having a car you just pull over whenever you fancy it look at this black sand or clay. It doesn't even look like sand. It's like clay. Yes. Alright, viewpoint number two coming up. Oh, however you are surrounded by the and your destination will be on the right. Cheers, love. We're heading to El Golfo. One, it's got a great name. And two, because there are some uh, little restaurants there and it's on the coast and yeah, go check it out. We're just doing a lot of like random driving now and just like seeing what you want to do kind of thing, you know, you know, I know. Where to next, mom? El Golfo. Okay. Por favor. Nice. Oh, I love how all the houses are white. little town um, we stopped for some nibbles and a little drink uh, perks of being not the designated driver I got to have a pint of beer Mwah! olives and yeah it's a really cute little town um, so definitely recommend especially if you fancy some lunch or something go down there and that's also where you go and see the green lake so when you're driving in the big car park on your left as soon as you arrive that's where you park up and it's literally like a two minute walk where the walking path is and you go see the green lake so 10 out of 10 but we are on the road again don't know where we're going don't know what we're doing we're gonna throw Ellie into a volcano oh the day has come <laughs> <laughs> He's been promising me this for a week. <laughs> We've come to a junction. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, so you need to pay. That's what the checkpoint was. We thought that it's 20 euros, they do not take card. And we don't have any cash because we just used it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll find um, an ATM. <laughs> take two. Okay, gracias. Bus tour. Mountain tour bus included. You have arrived. Thank you. <laughs> so your ticket will include a bus tour. So it's the next tour is in about five minutes on this bus.
Especially if you don't like heights, I wouldn't recommend that bus trip. Nope. Everyone was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Do you know how the wheels are set back from the front of the bus? So like, he has to like, almost go off the edge to turn a corner. It's like, Ooh. Yeah. We just came out wondering why there was chicken here. <laughs> that is, well, honestly... It is so hot. That is like... <gasps> like, really hot. Take quite a while to cook chicken. <laughs> I think it's there to make a point. <laughs> oh, you can see the air down there moving. Oh, whoa, I can't even lean over it for too long. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> oh, look at my hair. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was really good. We oh, I'm exhausted. I don't know about you. Yeah. This is a long day, so uh, we're gonna head back to the hotel, live our all-inclusive life, get a cocktail, some sangria, and a beer, all at the same time. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, I will catch you tomorrow. Bye! So day three actually took us down to Playa Blanca, right in the very south of the island, because on Wednesday and Saturday they have a market there. So. We drove, drove, drove. Did we come inland here and then go mm -hmm. down? Yep. Yes, we did. So we went all the way to Playa Blanca. And after that, we headed up into the National Park, doing a little stop at El Golfo. And that is where you go and see the Green Lake. From there, we just kind of like made our way round. We went into here, we did the bus tour. Oh, hello there. Why I'm doing it at this angle. But it is Thursday. We are jumping back in the car. Yesterday was great. Wednesday was a very... Was it Wednesday? I'm lying. Hello, it's Friday. <laughs> so Thursday was a very rainy day. And we decided to just take some chill time, have some us time. We played some mini golf, which was hilarious. Came up to the room, had a lie down. Scott had a bath. Just real pampering. And we realized how tired we were. So it was good just to get some, you know, little TLC relaxation in and a couple of glasses of kava and red wine. Not going to lie. It was delicious. Today we are actually heading up north of the island. We're going to go back to the green caves and that's the part from the other day that we didn't go to that we were meant to go to and it was opposite the um, underwater river cave thing. There. Let's go. Right now. In a minute. We're going to have breakfast and then we'll go. The gold is right here, Jeff. Get the gold, get oh the gold. Oh my god, I've never seen the edge of a rainbow. That is close, isn't it? Ever! Under that palm tree. Get it. <laughs> get the gold. That's wild. Now you can't see it. So we've done a bit of a detour. Instead of going to the green caves first, we're going to a lovely little viewpoint. And as I said, if it were just stop raining for just a moment, that would be lovely. 100 meters, continue straight. Yes, we see it. Thank you very much, lady. They include a tour. Nice. Okay, back in the car and we are going to head back to the hotel now. Those caves were fantastic. And he said it's not actually a cave because a cave only has one entrance and one exit. Um, whereas that's more like a labyrinth because there's many exits. Yeah, it was actually a lava flow. So what you think is like the water droplets they can cause sometimes in caves. It wasn't, it was actually lava that had cooled like that. And it's everywhere, it's so cool. Um, I didn't show you everything. Um, just go and experience it for yourself. It's like amazing in there and so worth the money. Currently waiting for these clouds to go away because we got blue sky, baby. We're gonna get in there. Is it cold? It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm not doing the pool. Oh my 
my god, Santa's here! Hello! Ah! Can you spot the Santa in the palm trees? So we just come here. It's not like really cold or anything, but we saw it and it's so cozy, isn't it? So cozy. So yeah, we're just chilling tonight. We were gonna go out down to uh, Puerto del Carmen, but the heavens opened and it was like, yeah, a lot of rain. So, living that all-inclusive life with a little heater and a few little fairy lights and we'll grab some dinner, but we wanna go um, to a sports bar tomorrow and watch the fight. Dinner is served. I know that's the thing. Buffet food looks messy on camera. It's yeah. so good. Like that's how, how you put it on. So you got all of this outside doing hot food, and then like I showed you, like inside, it's all the like desserts and salad and stuff. So on Friday we went all the way up to this lookout. Mirado del Rio. That's where you can see this island from the top. Yeah, so that's where you get to see La Graciosa. And then from there, we made our way over to Orzola. This is where you get the ferry from to go to said island. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> and then we came back down and hit up this green caves, which are absolutely phenomenal. That is it. That was one week in Lanzarote. We made sure we got some chill time in. This hotel is so nice. I'm gonna link everything down below from um, the Jetsu car hire to this hotel to absolutely everything you need to know. This hotel is so nice. Yeah, like Scott said the other day, driving around the island is really easy. Um, it's pretty quiet as well. There's not an insane amount of traffic. And all the roads look like they were tarmac yesterday, to be honest. Um, yeah, they do. yeah, it was really good. Um, and we try we'd actually tried to figure it out, like how much would it have cost if you had to, if you didn't have a car hire to go and buy all of the individual tours and then you like stuck on a bus with people on their timetable on their schedule whereas it's just always better to hire a car yeah, always definitely. better and it wasn't even like really pricey but i will link it down below for you and a massive thank you to jet 2 for sending us to lanzarote to get some winter sun and winter rain mm -hmm. Not gonna hold it against you though. So it's been absolutely fantastic. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, really enjoyed myself. Yeah. And like with driving as well, um, I find it a lot easier if you sort of just take your time and go slowly. But it's a, you know it's scary driving on the other side of the road. But yeah. if you're following someone, it makes it so much easier. Yeah. So like you know don't overtake and just like stick behind someone and just follow them. Yeah. And like just the landscape, it's just a joy to be a passenger and just to sit and look at the constant scenery. So the things left to do now is to go uh, drive the whole seven minutes to the airport. Ready to go, Jeff? Uh, no. It's 21 euros. 21 euros? Yeah. That's it, for all the fuel for the week? Yeah. Wow. You have been an absolute little legend. Drop the car hire keys off with the lady. Okay. Thank Amazing, you. thank you thank so you. much. Bye, -bye. Bye. And then jump on our flight back to Birmingham. Birmingham? Birmingham? Birmingham. Where apparently it's like minus four. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. A little bit grand. Hey, right, don't forget to subscribe. Um, let me know down below what did we miss in Lanzarote and um, yeah, I'd love to come back and do more of the Canary Islands, maybe Fort Ventura, Tenerife, Gran Canaria. Um, so yeah, Jet 2, I mean, you fancy it? Just saying, just putting it out there, just putting it out there. Yeah, I will see you in the next video. All right, subscribe, share, like, comment, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of the good stuff down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>